Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy. I'm Pat. That was a funny... Sorry, it was a bit high though, wasn't it? <laughs> Lose... Paz is losing his voice. Um, hmm. This is Visions of Atlantis. Uh, I do not know Visions of Atlantis. YouTube literally said, we think you might like this and recommended it to me. Just today. So I just... Quick I... edge. Yeah, but we're right. We're right on the cutting edge. Um, this is there's a, they've got a new album out called Wanderers. Looks exactly like that. Uh, it's coming out. When was it? I think it was the end of August. Um, yeah, out August thirtieth. So yeah, we're 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 right up there, aren't we? Okay. Right up there. This is this is so cutting edge. Um, I, I I do know Visions of Atlantis. All right, I, okay. I do have one of their albums. All right. All right. And I don't like it. That's a good start. Um, <laughs> but the, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that was about eight, ten years ago or something. I don't know how. Oh right, how so they've been around a long time. Yeah. Um, but recently, the singer joined Kai Hansen on stage for when he did his Kai Hansen and Friends album. Oh yeah. And uh, they did some Halloween things with the girl singing, and she was great. So I'm right. quite interested in seeing what how. Uh, see if I like it this, this is eight years later so who knows in fact underneath this video there are like um, what's the word quotes from various people and you've got uh, Thomas Youngblood from Camelot giving a quote they're all saying nice things obviously <laughs> <laughs> this album's rubbish <laughs> um, you got uh, Mark Janssen from Epica um, Alyssa Y. Glutz from Arch Enemy, you got, and Chris Harms from Lord of the Lost, so, you know, people are saying nice things about it. I'm sure they didn't get paid to do that. Um, that was a joke, record company, don't, don't come after me. I'm not scared. Let's just get on with it, because I, I don't, I've got nothing to say, because I don't know who they are. There you go, that's, this the short intros, it's, it's the future. Stop that, it's not working. Bear with me a second. I managed to break the whole thing. Ooh. I've totally managed to break the whole thing. I'm gonna edit the video now, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. I've, I think I fixed it. <laughs> it's not easy this shit. Well, it is, but I've messed it up anyway. Boom. <laughs>
to kind of process that. Okay, shall I tell a story? Go on. While you process it. They're going right off now. It's just so... Because because the drummer had been backed up to what looked like a cliff edge. Probably wasn't, but he looked like one, didn't it? You can imagine him sat there going, Guys, I'm not too keen on this, you know, and like, sit still. And it just reminded me of... This is a story from our past. We played at um, on stage at the Par Hall, and there was a drum riser, and on, on the drum riser were my drums. But at the back, but the drum riser wasn't very big, and my chair, my drum stool I was sat on, came right to the back edge of the drum riser, and it, I didn't have a proper drum stool in those days. I had a uh, a chair with like an office chair that I took the back off. Oh, you remember that? Yeah. And it had wheels. Yeah. And I'm sat here, and if, if, if I'm going <laughs> with my feet. I'm just, it, it used to move backwards and I got on this drum riser at the power hall and it was about four feet down behind <laughs> and it was just literally the edge was there and uh, there's a photo uh, of me gaffer taping up the wheels of my chair <laughs> uh, at, at there just, just because it was going to slide backwards off, <laughs> off the drum riser was playing and as I was looking at that guy playing on the edge of the cliff I thought I wonder if the, you know he's got like a little tether that's just tethering him to something <laughs> or something like that just in case <laughs> A stone moves and his chair t- sends him off backwards. Uh, you obviously had to sign some kind of insurance. Yeah, some kind of insurance thing. But I just, it just reminded me of the time yeah. I had to gaffer up the wheels on my chair in case I <laughs> fell off the back of the drum riser. Anyway, so there you go. Absolutely nothing to do with the song. People said they liked the, these stories. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fools. Bad fools. <laughs> but it was, you know what? It, it, it was very lightweight production, didn't it? So it yeah. lacked any kind of heaviness, mm. which which not every song has to be heavy, or anything. But it, I think what I mean is it it lacked a little bit of meatiness. It, yeah, because he- heaviness is yeah heaviness is, is a subjective it, term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't mean like it should be heavy and or anything like that. I just I think I meant lightweight in that it, 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 it the the production had taken some of the. Any the, yeah. the metalness out of it, the, yeah, the, the guitars are very quiet because they were playing it. I think that's the thing, and but you couldn't necessarily hear it. Yeah, yeah. And the, uh, the orchestration, for me, and I think this is what the problem was when the first the, it was a bit loud. It was too loud. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the problem with the uh, vision. Of, why I didn't like the vision of Atlantis album. I do have. Um, it drowned everything else out. And when you watch a band playing. And you can't actually really hear what they're doing. You think, well, who's playing all the? Well, just sticking on the tape, aren't they? Really, or, or you know? Yeah, and before they got to the chorus, track. when they were singing the when they singing the verse, the first verse, I thought this song needs a killer chorus. You know, to yes. to to, yeah. to kind of just add a bit, of, a bit of, to, to bring to, to give it yeah. something a bit, a bit of energy. And, and I did yeah. like the chorus. I, yeah, I did. And overall, I thought it was all right. Actually, I could see me it singing right. it. I think live. It sounds like I was going to say really it was horrible, through. but it wasn't at all. I, 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 I remember um, Power Quest, going to see Power Quest support. They were supporting. I saw them too. I wonder if I was We went to same. Bradford. Rio's. Yeah, they supporting. Come back to that. Um, Halloween? Yes, they were. It was Halloween. Yeah, Halloween, yeah. 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 Bradford's, yeah, and Power Quest were on first. Yep. And um, I was doing. Uh, my review at, at the time so I reviewed the gig and uh, I listened to some Power Quest prior to go and see, going to see them and uh, never really worked with me because the production was so light even right. though they're, like, they're going at 200 miles yeah. an hour uh, it all felt very sanitised and stuff like that and then what live totally worked mm-hmm. because you could turn the guitars up the keyboards are, are a better Level, it's better the whole about live mix. Sound much meatier better. live, don't yeah. they? Yeah, and they were tre- and they were tremendous. And it's glowing review, and they were very nice. They got in touch with me. He said, oh, "Thank you very much." And Did uh, say it like that, yeah, Did you never really know <laughs> he would do, wouldn't he? As a power metal singer. Uh, and, and then I met, I met them at Prog Power. If you were, um, they were at Prog Power again, weren't they? That's right. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and I met them, and they uh, said thank you for the much for review. Um, you gave us a and, reason to live. And I think this. Uh, would have the same scenario. I don't think I'd probably listen to it casually because it's just not got that meaty grittiness to it. But I think live, I think it'd be, I think it'd be tremendous. 
because you yeah. get guitars would come through and it'd be loud and you know you'd feel the pounding of the drums, something that we didn't really get. You know. And I don't think we're talking about something subjective like we like our songs to be heavy or we like our songs to be a certain way. I think it's just I think we're talking about it's all happening. You just can't necessarily hear it in the mix, mm. so it kind of detracts from it a bit. I, I I think it just it's a bit surface. The, 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 this, you know the depth is not in the production I think yeah. I, it's very yeah. hard to put into words when you're talking about how something sounds <laughs> you know <laughs> it mean I listen to lots of stuff that's not as, not even as heavy as that mm. but there's a lot of energy in, in, in the mix and, and arguably the songwriting is a bit more, um, that you know doesn't have to be again, again this is what, what's heavy is it subjective yeah. term, it is yeah, heavy yeah, yeah, yeah. Is heavy speed wasn't the or right sound word. or the kind of time riffs you play it's, uh, yeah. it's a tricky one heavy, um, heavy wasn't the right word to use um, just so, the, some just the meatiness that you should get out of rock yeah <laughs> you've got a couple of guitar players you should be able to hear them better than that yeah and and, and I was looking after uh, in some of my old reviews earlier and I'm a huge Epica fan but I gave him a stinking review that I can't even remember um, many years ago back in 2004 live four. a live review oh. yeah uh, I, I remember I'd, I'd bought their Consigns for Oblivion album I thought and that suffered from the same thing no guitars it's all keyboards there's just no depth to the actual production or the mix and so I'm live and I thought I just, just I don't get it and then something happened I think one of the guitar players left this new guitar player came in and suddenly they started turning into the production and the mix was really in your face. The orchestration is still there, but the guitars are really meaty, and all the, got lots more riffage in there. If that's a word. Doesn't and uh, and suddenly I, I was drawn to Epic, and I just think they're fantastic now. But um, right. Uh, I, I, so I didn't dislike it. No, no, not not at all. I think no, I, I think didn't, more I there didn't dislike than, it, and I yeah. can see me singing that. Yeah, it, you know, driving. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I, I don't think the mix was getting the best from the song. No, it's fair, doing no. the best for the song. Same for me. For me. I, it felt like, yeah. oh, there's more here, and I'm not getting yeah. it, and I'm a bit disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I guess is what. Because I, mean, I was a cracking solo and a couple of good voices there as well. So I think all the ingredients are there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the mix. I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Interesting. Yeah. Let us know what you think. I mean, obviously, all of this is subjective, isn't it? Um, but let us know. See you soon. Thanks See for ya. watching. Bye-bye.